Today, we're taking you behind the scenes of a recent discussion we had, REST versus gRPC. The question came from a client looking to understand which technology would best suit his upcoming project. Instead of giving him a one-line answer, we decided to dive deep into it, sharing our insights with you too. We're Jelvix, a software development partner for industry leaders. We post weekly videos on tech in five minutes, so don't forget to subscribe. Also, use the super thanks feature to support our channel so we can deliver more great content. First up is REST. It stands for Representational State Transfer, which is a set of principles and best practices for designing web APIs. RESTful APIs are web APIs that follow the REST principles, such as using HTTP methods to perform operations on resources. These methods include GET to retrieve a resource, POST to create a new resource, DELETE to remove a resource, PUT and PATCH to update an existing resource. But as with any superhero, REST has its kryptonite the verbosity of JSON or XML. When we worked on data-heavy applications, we noticed that REST performance could sometimes falter, being a bit of a chatterbox. Let's move on. gRPC, the newcomer, which has been making waves. gRPC, on the other hand, is a modern open source high-performance remote procedure call, RPC framework, that can run in any environment. It uses HTTP2 for transport, protocol buffers as the interface description language, and it provides features such as authentication, load balancing, and more. Our team has a couple of gRPC enthusiasts who've been evangelizing about its pros. So we put gRPC to the test in one of our client projects that needed high efficiency and low latency. And boy, it didn't disappoint. Its binary data format a sharp contrast to REST verbosity, sped up data transmission noticeably. But as we say, every rose has its thorns. Despite gRPC's performance perks, its browser support is still under construction. We did explore solutions like gRPC Web, but it did add another layer to the puzzle, making the application slightly more complex. All right, so now to summarize their differences briefly. First, protocol. REST typically uses HTTP 1.1, while gRPC uses HTTP 2, which allows for features like streaming, multiplexing, and smaller message sizes due to binary framing. Next criteria, payload. REST communicates in JSON or XML, which are text-based formats. gRPC uses protocol buffers a method of serializing structured data that is more efficient and less verbose. As for client-server communication, in REST, each request and response pair is an independent HTTP message. gRPC, however, uses persistent connections and streams to allow multiple messages to be passed in either direction simultaneously. Next, API contract. REST APIs often use Open API or Swagger for defining contracts and documentation. gRPC defines service contracts in proto files, which are simpler and more concise. And what about performance? Watch till the end. We'll compare them. So, our next question. Which is the one for your microservices? Well, there's no one-size-fits-all answer here. It depends on your unique needs. Suppose your microservices are going to be browser buddies. In that case, you're gunning for compatibility and prefer the suitable old HTTP methods. Then REST might be your ticket. However, suppose your project is data heavy and you need performance to be top notch. In that case, gRPC with its power backed efficiency is your knight in shining armor. Now, before you ask us, but which one should I choose? Consider this, learning REST is like cruising on a highway, while understanding gRPC might be like maneuvering through a hilly terrain due to its dependence on protobuf and the need for code generation. As we discussed this, our tech leads said something that stuck. 
Remember, whatever choice you make, you need to design your APIs well. Even a souped up sports car will crash if the roads aren't good. Okay, as we promised, we put these two to a performance test. But before we get down to that, remember to show us some love. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. GRPC turned out to be quicker on its feet than REST by 13.6% to 19.5%, affirming the inherent efficiency of its binary data streams over JSON. REST and GRPC proved that they could scale linearly as we processed more requests. However, we noticed that the increase in processing times outpaced the rate of request increase. We had real, tangible proof of the difference in performance between these two protocols. As we wrapped up our benchmark tests and were getting ready to send off the comparison summary to our client, we found ourselves diving into a discussion about the best practices for API design. Our seasoned developers had a few nuggets of wisdom to share. Keep it simple. An easy to understand API is a joy to work with. The devil's in the details. Make your API as self-descriptive as possible and maintain consistency across different endpoints. Change is the only constant. Always version your API to allow for future modifications without breaking existing applications. We hope you found this comparison helpful. At Jelvix, we aim to simplify complex tech concepts and guide you on your tech journey, helping you make informed decisions. We recommend watching another video about the battle royale between GraphQL and REST to deepen your knowledge further. Thank us later. Also, don't forget to support this video by liking and leaving a comment. And don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button. Bye for now.